You're from Los Angeles. Yes. You were living in New York City last couple of years. Yeah. Then you moved back here. Was there anything that you sort of forgot about? L.A.? I mean, here, here you are living in New York, and then you moved back yeah. here. Was there anything that, that, that you suddenly realized, oh, I mm. forgot this part of oh, L.A.? Well, I forgot that there's room and there's space. Yeah. Right? Right. I, I got the opposite of claustrophobic in, in L.A. I got, like, roomophobic. I was like, there's too much room. Right. There's, there's too much. Did I make because, up that word? No, no, but, no, but it is true that in New York, you really yeah. get used to uh, eating a sandwich with someone else's face <laughs> <Yeah>. right <laughs> here eating a different sandwich yeah. and you don't know that person yeah. and your cheek and their cheek are right up against each other yeah. and you're eating sandwiches and then here you actually see someone from across the room And then you really sandwich. see how they eat a sandwich. Exactly. You're like, that's gross the way you eat that sandwich. Exactly, yeah, <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah, so, um, but no, also wildlife. I'm, I remember I got into this house, which I'm no longer living in because for various reasons, but, um, but one of them was there's this massive snake as I was going down my front porch. It was this, it was enormous. And I, I literally almost stepped on it. And my two little dogs, I only have one now. It's not mm -hmm. sad, it, the other one died. Um, Probably eaten by the snake, I'm guessing. Yeah, the other one. You said there's a giant snake. I had two dogs, yes, and now I have, now one. I have one. I'm doing the math in my, what could have happened? <laughs> <laughs> Snake's like, I got that. Uh, yeah. So we, um, you, you. So no, I mean, I really am sad about that. Oh. But um, no, the. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, me too. <laughs> But no, I did, I did have an encounter with the massive snake and actually the owners of the house called the fire department and apparently they went and took it away and I don't know whether it was poisonous or the not. The fire department came and took yeah. the snake? Well, you know LA, it's like... Right. They, I, I've never encountered a snake out here. I think you brought a picture of the snake because this is pretty impressive. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, that's that right. is a real... I don't know what kind of snake that is. Do you know what kind it is? Is I, that a poisonous I, snake well, or a dangerous I, snake? I, I basically just didn't want to find out. Right. Um, I just said, please take it away. Right. Um, so yeah, I think, I think the encounter with, with wildlife was sort of, um, I have a little cat who uh, decided she was, she's an indoor cat and she suddenly just disappeared for, for like two days and I thought a coyote took her and right. I was just saying things are going terribly wrong here in LA. Right. Um, and, uh, and she kept like hiding in weird places, so I searched everywhere and then I, I basically climbed on the roof to see if she was somehow in the chimney and lo and behold, I have a picture of that too, she was in the chimney. You found her in the, oh my God. <laughs> oh. Do you know? You got I, her out okay, I, I assume, yeah. Yeah, I could have been like that woman who got stuck in the chimney, you know? Going to get her cat, yes. yeah. That's amazing, look at that, that's it, such a cute, I mean that's either a cat or the devil. Is, <laughs> those are your choices. So, get out, <laughs> this is my portal. <laughs> But you got your cat out, okay? I got my cat out. I did have to climb up and, and get her out. But Good yeah. for you. You took charge. You could have lowered the snake and gotten well. Anyway, we'll <laughs>